hello friends today i'll show you how to use static variable method and uh, static block in java so for that we need to understand uh, why do we have static keyword in java so i'll explain with an example here so here i have created a class name person which has a static variable that is counter and uh, instance variable that is amount so generally we call static variable as a class variable because it belongs to the class that is a person and uh, this amount variable will be called as an instance variable so here we have a static method get info and you can write any code here and in there is another method set record which stores the value for amount so when this new is encountered that time uh, a default constructor will be invoke so here i haven't defined any constructor so default constructor will be invoke then uh, an instance of a person variable person class will be created and that disk of that instance will be stored in this person one object reference variable obj reference variable this is the reference variable which stores an address of an instance of this person class so when we create an object of this person class then each object will have a amount variable as you can see in this diagram person one object will have amount person two object will have separate amount variable so perhaps you may be in a situation that uh, where you will have to use a common value for example pi value or something uh, a value you want to use in your calculation and uh, if your application is a large one and it's not possible to change that value in whole code so you can just declare a variable as a static and uh, that static variable means that class variable will be accessible in your whole project so you don't have to use the reference variable or object to access that variable for example uh, if you have a code that calculates the interest okay so interest rate may change later on so it keeps changing so that time you will have to make changes in your whole code instead of making changes in whole code you can just change that uh, static variables uh, value at the beginning wherever you have declared it so this way you can use static variable and uh, you don't you don't have to use an object to access that uh, static variable same way you can access the static method by just get info name you don't have to use any object because it belongs to the class person so and if you are accessing in a, another class for example a class child class of this person then you will have to use the person dot get info means class name then dot then method static method name so this way you can use static method also and uh, here you can see uh, this is a counter and uh, that is a static uh, variable there is a class variable and uh, the space for this uh, static variable will be same means the object one and two will share the same variable and uh, a different memory space will not be created for this object one and object two that is reference variables so i'll show you an example which i have already created so it will not take much time to record this video so here i have created a class name atm trans counter so this may uh, this class counts the number of the transaction occurred so here we have a static block which just prints welcome to the sbi bank state bank of india so when we run this program so jvm first runs or looks for the static block so first this static block will be executed means welcome to the sbi bank will be printed 
then it looks for the main method that is public static void main and uh, then it uh, executes the anonymous block that is non static block which I haven't defined anywhere in this code so then once once object is created that time anonymous after the, of creating an object anonymous uh, block will be executed so here first static block will be executed so why do we need static block you can print uh, a message it will be executed once so you can use this for uh, welcoming message so this way I using this and uh, here we have a static method increment count counter which uh, increments the counter number of transaction occurred and another static method get trans counter it will print the total number of the transactions at the end so here we also have a money withdrawal method which uh, has a parameter amount and it just prints the amount which is withdrawal and we have a private static void gate menu so it is another static method for a menu so I'll explain from the main method okay here I have created an instance of this ATM trans counter class and stored in this person one object and another person two object so created two object of this class and it will print person one transaction starts so I call a static method get menu and uh, I have passed this person one object to this method so get menu method has uh, a menu which prints withdrawal and exit and it asks user to enter the choice so when we enter one so it will ask enter amount to withdraw to get the user's input in form of string next line just string so it asks for the input and that uh, value will be passed to the money withdrawal method here and it will just print the amount which is entered by the user and it will also increment the counter means transaction counter so it is a static method it will increment the counter which is by default zero at the beginning so this way we will count number of transaction done by the person one and number of the transaction done by the person two it will it will be the same counter shared by these two objects so in this way we can use static variable and uh, static method to count the number of the transaction occurred so we'll run this so you can understand see here welcome to SBI bank is executed by because it is a static block here you can see this is a static block which gets executed first then JVM looks for the main method means it comes here okay. then it creates an instance of this class two objects are created first one person two and system out dot print is uh, executed so it and uh, get menu is called here and this prints the menu here so now I will enter my choice I'll choose one I'll enter amount to be withdrawal 100 rupees that is one transaction means this static counter is incremented here here we have called that method static method so it's it's incremented by one now so I'll choose another withdrawal I'll withdraw 200 rupees so two transactions of person one now we'll I'll exit so you can see here person 1 transaction ends and person 2 transaction starts so now I'll choose menu 1 and uh, we'll draw 1000 rupees here we just 
printed enter amount to withdraw and thousand rupees printed okay and uh, person two has withdrawn thousand rupees means only one transaction and uh, i'll exit this so we will have total transaction three here you can see person one to transition ends and total transaction is three so this means the static variable encountered was shared by the object one and uh, object two so this way we can use static variable for uh, pi value or any interest amount or anything that will be common to common in your code and uh, this way we can save the memory so if we don't want to use static variable then we have to remove this and uh, we cannot access non-static variable in a static so we'll also have to remove the static increment counter still make it normal method and uh, here also because non-static is not ac acceptable in a st static uh, method and we have to use here object which is pass here so this way and here in the end we need to call this method using object one also because both of them have a separate variable because that counter is not static <coughs> what's it you cannot make static reference to non-static method okay yeah okay so now here we have declared this as a instance variable so each object will have counter separate counter and separate memory for that uh, instance variable so we'll run this now so you will understand why we need to declare that counter as a welcome to visit as usual so we'll choose one hundred rupees another one withdraw 200 rupees for person one so we'll exit the transaction for first person one so you can see person one transaction ends and person two transaction starts so we'll use one for person two and we'll thousand rupees okay so that is two we'll exit so here you can see total transaction for person one is two and total transaction for person two is one so total means three so we didn't mention here person one and person two. that's why it just printed that transaction total transaction for person one is two and person two but it's a waste of memory where we can use a common variable that is class variable by declaring that variable as a static so this way we can use static variable and uh, static block which executes at the beginning so if you want to run a program without main method yes you can run that because static variable sorry static block will get executed first before calling to the main method but it is possible only before and up to 1.6 JDK afterwards it is not possible you will have to you will have to declare define main method so this way you can use a uh, static keyword for static variable static block and static map so here we got a two and one because that is not class variable now it is a uh, an instant variable which belongs to these objects so this object called that uh, method for twice so it uh, its value of counter became two here and for the second object 
for the second object person to object it call only once the transaction increment method so the value of its counter variable became one so both will have separate space for this counter variable and uh, this object will also have separate space for the counter variable so it's just waste of space so this way you can use static variable that is class variable and static method which will be belonging to class not to the object and uh, will be common to each object and will have a same memory so separate memory will not be created for the static variables that is class variables and static method thank you for watching my video please like share and subscribe for more videos